What kind of a name in the world? I guess we will call this T.C. Music. We All are right. alive. Welcome alive back well. to our best new friend. Thank you, honey. I'm glad to be back. And this, now and evermore, shall be Cleo. Cleo. That's a great name, isn't it? Without the Patra. I will tell you the story another time. Okay. That would make me Mr. Swizzo, and you're stuck with it. I love the name. Even though every time I think of the name, it reminds me of a Twizzler. I don't know why. Swizzo and Twizzler, for some reason. Mm -hmm. There's worse things. I have been called most of them. Uh, What's going on? On, which used to be the rallying cry for the permanent damage department in the basement of a major metropolitan department store. Oh my, interesting. Yes, I think I'll put on my glasses. You do that. I found them this time. I usually hide them from myself up there. Well, I usually step on mine, so you're doing better than me. Not every day, I'll tell you that. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Not Black Friday, though. If you want to travel way out west What's at going the on? Medina Ballroom, oh. get this. It's Queensryche. Who is Queensryche? It has come to this large hockey rink music in the western hinterlands. You're this highly entertaining. I love is watching you. Probably a little before your time. I doubt it. I doubt it. A little before your time around here, Saturday at the Minneapolis Eagles Club, it is Teen King and the Princess. Uh -huh. A couple of familiarized glances over here. Haven't seen them yet. Talk over there. Um, uh, oh, what else is dear. happening? Let's see. If I hold this right side up. And stand on my head. We arrive at Saturday so good at. in the 7th Street entry, which is right downtown. Okay. Mark Malman. If you want to go uptown, I believe you have been affiliated with that neighborhood. I'm an uptown girl. Famous Dave's is uh, hosting uh, the return of Stealing Dan. If you were Stealing I Dan or Freddie Steely Johnston. Dan. Yeah, you see, there is a familiarity. Freddie Johnson once admitted that, as just about everybody he knows has, he did at one point join a Steely Dan tribute band. Oh, so it's a tribute band. Got it. At the 331 on Saturdays, it's Dead Bundy. Dead wonder, Bundy. Yeah, Not if, Ted Bundy, Dead no, Bundy. Is that, I think that's Al's okay. cousin. Okay, okay. That's a good thing. The 26th is Sunday, and we have a tremendous trio, Lucy Michelle, John Munson, and Chan Poling at the Dakota. I knew one Love of the them Dakota. once. Thursday, no, that would be Tuesday the 28th. I can it's read Tuesday. my own handwriting sometimes. <laughs> You can read You're that, can't great, you? You're doing great, honey. What does that say? Right there. Um, Under my Tuesday. My eyesight is just about as good as yours. If I so hold it all the way over oh, here if it was and point it up to my glasses. Magic marker Sharpies, I could read it, but not that far away. <laughs> it's Drew Miller and uh, Glenn Leslie at Harriet Brewing. Followed uh, over all the way in St. Paul, Mary Black comes to the the what? The Fitzgerald Theater. Oh, Fitzgerald. Okay. And we are see, in, we so might much see you. ever so much from our friends at Minnesota Public Radio. All right. At the New Century Theater is somebody you saw here first. A lot of you, Meda. And I mean. Well, anyway, that's another story for another time. Wednesday, the 29th, at the Minnesota Music Cafe, it's Minnesota Metal. All 
All right. That's supposed to be a very fun place. <laughs> we like it over More there. More fun We've than a there. barrel Some of, of monkeys. Some here have been there. Beyond the big light is our old pal Dutch and his old pal. And oh, old I met pal, Dutch. I Master met Dutch. Glenn. You need to go see them at a little place called Cool Clear Water, which is right over here northeast. And I am so ashamed of myself because I did not wear my Cool Clear Water shirt. It's fabulous. Sounds fabulous. Thursday, the 30th, and we're really getting close. At that point, it's the sex rays at Bedlam in Lower Town. Walebskis, you will all remember Ooh, comes Walebskis, up with don't these we? Names. Walebskis features Lamont Cranston. Sounds something like the else. big Lebowski. She doesn't remember, he does, I do. But we'll figure that out some other time. Friday, Friday, the Friday coming after the Friday coming. Okay, I got a few things to say that too, so we're going to listen to you. The and then 31st oh, of October. Halloween. On a Friday. It's Halloween. For some of us, that means really get out there, and for some of us, it means stay at home and hide. Are you going to dress up? Not until... Um, I'll tell you about tell that. Tell me more. If you want to get out in the middle of it, you can go to Myth and see Alt J, which is one of those things that I kind of blew past me. Uh, but it's a big deal. Stay closer to home. Go over to Lee's Liquor Lounge and see E L No. Oh boy, okay, that sounds great. And at Bunkers, Fun. this is a big deal. Couple three nights, it is. Raw oyster cult. That I sounds very what familiar. That is, it sounds familiar, doesn't it? And you don't get to sample have, oysters, do you? I don't get oysters at all. I just don't understand them. I really don't care for them myself. So we're on the same page. They don't talk to me, and I cannot picture them as food. Aphrodisiac is what yes, they are. Yes, yes. Have we just breezed right past everybody that you're going to see this week, or what? I have a few announcements to make. Cleo's. Yeah. Recommendations. Can, my recommendation Come make a, is... See, I can read those. Friday night, October 24th, the rock band, the Black Keys, is playing at the Target Center. And I heard they're the closest thing to Zeppelin and... <laughs> The Rolling Stones. Have I you seen know. them? No, I have not. I, I missed them somehow when they were coming through and playing little tiny places. I guess I should have back then. but Perhaps you know, we'll have to go see them sometime and give them a review. You know, I got the call from the union and I could have gone and built the stage, but I just decided to do homework instead. Missed the whole thing. That's okay. I have something Some else coming up. Days. What else? That I really think you're going to like, and what you else? can even what put else? on what your else? roller what skates else? for this, okay? All right. At the Kitty Cat Club. Oh, we like it down in, in Dinky Uptown. Town. No, that's Saturday yes, yes. night. Dinky Town. Dinky Town. Yes, yes Dinky yes. Town. It used to be called the Yellow Piano, but that's before oh. everybody's time. Well, I just learned something new. Yeah. But it's Disco Fever Night, <laughs> Saturday night, October 25th. And it sounds like a roller boogie B movie from 1979. And they're going to have uh, local DJs, Freddie Fresh and King Otto. <laughs> so that's going to be a healthy dose of funk and disco and all kinds of fun. Oh, my, my, my. And then my. another thing I wanted to what tell else? everyone about is we have a future concert. This is all the way in January 24th, but Sam Smith, who is very popular right now, mm. is going to be in concert at the Roy Wilkins Auditorium, and tickets go on sale Friday morning at 10 a.m. You know, I He'll just... will probably sell out fast. I just tore down the show for Bastille on Sunday, and the Roy Wilkins Auditorium works really well these days. I was okay. I was really surprised. That ought to be a great I place to I haven't been see there, them. so I was excited to hear that. I might have to buy a ticket. You asked if I were going to get dressed up. Yes. Maybe because the day after the Friday coming, after the Friday coming, 
the 1st of November, Hennepin Avenue Methodist Church is having their annual Halloween celebration. Okay. It's Monster Movie Night Monster at Mash. church. They bring in a projector, show a grand old black and white horror movie to the accompaniment ah! of the grand pipe organ of the Hennepin Avenue Methodist Church Costumes are encouraged. It's a wonderful evening. I've been there. I'm going again. Sounds wonderful. Uh, if you're not, if you're time. not up for scary movies, you can go to the Capri Theater and see More by Four or the Belfast Cowboys at Lee's. Or you saw her here first too. Chastity Brown with Robert Robinson, Prudence Johnson, Larry Long. We I should get those here too at the Dakota. Then we jump all the way to the fourth. And the fifth, and the sixth, and this kid from up you were north saying? is playing three nights. How do you get a kid from the Iron Range? Oh my gosh, my ex-husband was from the Iron Range. I'm not doing that again. The Orpheum Theater. It's Mr. and Mrs. Zimmerman's boy, Bobby. Bobby. So. So I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. What else is going on? Work, play, study, study, study. So proud of you. <laughs> so proud of you. Our precious oh, student. Oh, we need to hear those things. Some yes, you do. Days, I'll tell you, we're too old for this stuff. <laughs> At any rate. Who do we have playing tonight? Who do we have playing tonight? It's Christ. Mark. Mark. Kreitzer. Kreitzer. And, and the fifty-three rock of Billy Swing Band. <laughs> exactly right. And they are awesome. They're all so talented, and they play multiple musical instruments. We Can't do wait the to best hear you guys. we can up here, and we are so proud to have somebody that does this well right over there. Yes. Take it away. Can't wait. One, two,
town I passed I wish was my own I'm tired of traveling alone On this lonesome road There's no turning back I'm coming home to you Yes, we are the 53-something-somethings. We're actually called the 53 Swing Billies. And um, thank you. <laughs> There's actually a story behind the name, too. 53, first of all, comes from the fact that I was born in 1953, but also from the fact that both Django Reinhardt and Hank Williams died in 1953. So we try and incorporate a little bit of both of their kinds of music in what we do. And... Uh, this next song that we're going to do is one that called The Long Gone Daddy. Two, one, two, three. <laughs> So now I'm gone Kiss your long gone daddy goodbye You wanted love it I gave my heart to you girl. You wanted money I gave you diamonds and pearls That's good news, yeah. Uh, I taught songwriting at a local high school, and there were three kids in the class that were doing absolutely nothing. And so one night I said, all right, all of us are going to write a song with the same title. And the title we came up with was Breakfast in Prison. So this is my Breakfast in Prison. It's breakfast in prison with nowhere to go Life laid out for him for years in a row He took all his chances and he threw them away For breakfast in prison for the rest of his day Now he had a family, they loved him
visit the shrink Then an hour in the yard He never thinks about why life's so hard One foot then the other Then the other again Just taking up time In a cage full of men What does he matter? Why should he care? Locked up in prison Just rotting laid out for him for years in a row He took all his chances and he threw them away for breakfast in prison for the rest of his days Thank you, thanks Thank you so much Well, I used to uh, live in Madison, Wisconsin, and I was part of a band, and we were the four lonesomest people in the state of Wisconsin. And when our fiddler was with us, we were the five lonesomest people. And we were so lonesome, when we'd go out for dinner together, we'd ask for four tables for one. And uh, so I wrote a little song about that. It's called A Table for One. One, two, three. <laughs> I got no reason to go, I got no wild oats to sow, my baby left me in I'm gonna sit at this table, just as long as I'm able. Don't tell me I gotta go, can't be alone anymore, give me a table for one. Questions. Planned. How about that? As if we knew what we were doing, huh? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, I've already proved that you know more than I do. I can't even remember the name for five minutes. Oh, dear. That's okay. It's sort of a complicated name. Yeah, yeah. We got a crowd up here tonight. I just yeah. love that. Yes, we do. You know, we like working close together like this. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it feels good. 
You don't, you, wind up, you don't wind up feeling quite so lonely? That's right, yeah. Hey, I hate playing those stages like the Stones, you know, where the bass player is 40 feet away from me. And not that I know that for a fact. But, but I've heard, too. I, I know imagine. what you mean. Yeah. Does that mean if you all went out to eat, you would sit at the same table? Well, we're, I'm much happier these days, yeah. So we God. probably would sit together. Good. <laughs> no more a lone ranger. Not too often. No. <laughs> I was just telling Cleo that I need to speak to you for a moment about this bow. I know. It's a cool bow. And whether I was uh, playing violin with the junior high school orchestra or playing my next door neighbor Gloria's doll fiddle, I did not stroke it with anything looked like that. <laughs> can you tell me all about it? I can, yes. This is an... It's all full of puns, I'm afraid. This is an Incredibo. bow. This particular model is the Aurora Bow Realis, and it is indestructible. Oh. So, Multifunctional. Yeah. I like that. Multifunctional. I love it. Yeah, I had it's to awesome. playing it in middle school because my orchestra teacher said that the kids in my orchestra watched my bow more than her baton. <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. It did, it, well, it's a shiny thing, and it did catch my eye right away. Heavens, should we go around? Why don't you ask for names over there, okay. Miss Cleo? Well, I'm going to start here, actually. What is your name? Dean Harrington. Dean Harrington, and how long have you played with the band? Oh, how many hours have we been here so far? <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like forever some nights. That's right. You're not a beginner, right? Uh, he's not yeah, a beginner. Maybe a couple years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And back here we have. I'm Chuck Kreitzer. Hi, Chuck. Oh, huh. do you guys have the same last name? Yeah. How's you that must happen? be related. We are, yeah. He's my dad. Oh, yeah, right. I bet he's a sibling. He is, yep, my younger oh, brother. That's great yeah. that that's you're both in the same band. And that is called a bass? String bass or double bass or acoustic bass or just bass. Or if you're Leo wow. Fender, you just call it a doghouse. There we go, a doghouse. <laughs> And back here, and uh, I'll have you say. Oh, yeah, if his I step back here, snare drum. playing the grand drum kit. My name is Anthony Erig. Anthony, thank you. I'm curious, is this is this your is this your only musical drumming uh, um, um, expression, or do you do other? <laughs> um, yeah, my day job is as a banjo player, and uh, every now and again I moonlight on the on the percussion. It was my first instrument, and uh, uh, I've pared it down to just the snare drum. I figure if I can master this one, then maybe I can earn my setback. Wow, so many multi-talented like people here. I love I that. I believe that you are well on your way, young man. I appreciate that. I have a one question for you, because you're adorable. <laughs> How did these guys get so lucky to have you in their group? Hmm. Well, uh, I started playing when I was nine years old, I think, and at one point, Mark was my teacher. He taught me some mandolin and a little bit of fiddle, and there's a really great picture of us in, like, matching orange pants, and it just looks very early 2000s. Oh, that's it's great. It's going to be blackmail someday. That's, that's yeah. why I'm here. Like, I really wanted to... <laughs> that, that, isn't on, that isn't on the website? Not yet. No. <laughs> well, you certainly add something special to the band, so. This is Katie Jo Pytel. Katie, Katie Jo, jo. Pytel. We love that. I mispronounce it every time. Sorry. We got to balance the testosterone, so. At least, yeah. And, and at least when you asked her how she came here, she didn't marry the bass player. No. <laughs> oh. That is well, even that better. Be right. <laughs> well, you understand, bass players need to be lonely. That's just the way we are. Yeah. If Mark, if we wanted to hear you play somewhere, are there any upcoming places that your band is playing that people can come watch you? There aren't really any public appearances yet for the band coming up. Uh, part of being a, a musician in the Twin Cities is you get busy any way you can, right? So right. we all play with a lot of different bands, and we do have some corporate things that aren't public, and, uh, you know, I teach. So we're, we're working on some more public things, but as of right now, you get the TV. Oh, well, great. <laughs> but 
we'd love to come and play for your wedding or your divorce or your <laughs> circumcision, whatever you got coming up, we'll come and play for you. Great. I love Thank that. You. Um, you can use that one in your next material, I Mr. Know, Swizzo. Uh, bluegrass, swing Billy Briss. Did I just say that on TV? I think oh, you man, did. I, I just it. love it. This is a brand new venue. We're going to have to Nobody's censor you. Nobody's thought of it before. <laughs> well, I don't know. You may, you may be Somebody in competition with the Klezmer people. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you have to move into the late show so, now. Yeah. You teach? Yep. Is this uh, private lessons, or can people find you somewhere? Um, I do teach private lessons. I also teach at Carlton College down in Northfield. And okay. Give lessons down there, so. But yeah, I can, you can get me through the website markkreitzer.com, and Mark I'd be happy to give you lessons here. And is that where people might find out about 53 Swing Belly? Yes. Uh, we've got calendar up there, and uh, we also play as a straight ahead bluegrass band and then we're, we call ourselves the Mark Kreitzer band but it's the same basic group with acoustic instruments and banjo Tony brings out his banjo and oh great yeah. okay so that's where to find us on uh, on the web at markkreitzer.com MarkKreitzer.com. Uh, Remember that. Anything? We do have some recordings. Yeah, I've got a solo recording called Pages, and then we've got the Mark Kreitzer Band CD that's about two years old or so. And it's kind of a mix of, like we're playing tonight, with a little bit of bluegrass thrown into. All right. And again on the website? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Oh my. Yep. He called me, sir. iTunes, too. You can get our CD on iTunes as well. Okay. CD on iTunes. That's right. right. Exactly it. Right. What we're looking for right now, however, would be a little more music. Right. Would you please? Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you so much. We'll get so, out your way. Ladies and gentlemen, 53 Swing Belly. Katie Joe and I are going to take over a little bit and uh, play a fiddle tune. And uh, the rest of the band is allowed to just pay attention and take notes if they want. Or they could leave the stage, I, whatever. And I think Anthony Erig might join us back there on the snare, too. This is one. What's the name of this one? Cherokee Shuffle. It's called the Cherokee Shuffle. here I just like to say that 
uh, applause to a musician is like whipped cream to strawberry shortcake. You just can't overdo it. So if you feel it, just let it out, folks. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do a baby come dance. Thank you. That was a little bit like begging, I'm afraid. But <laughs> we are going to change it up quite a bit here. And um, this is one from our CD. And um, like most musicians, uh, I don't dance. Because I've spent so many years watching really bad dancers from the bandstand. Um, but I decided that I would write a song about dancing. And uh, hopefully that would make my wife feel better about the fact that I don't physically dance. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to play mandolin on this, sorry. And it's a song called Baby Come and Dance with Me. And wonder why why people keep writing songs because there are so many already we don't really need more songs but um, we just keep doing it and I was driving back from Duluth one night after listening to some friends up there a band called the fish heads they have a great singer songwriter named Kim Munson and I started thinking about the whole songwriting process and all that. and uh, by the time I get back to Minneapolis I had this song so I call it Duluth Thank you. 
I know this woman of Bindaloo When she sings she makes the angels sigh She's been known to make a grown man cry Boys, I've got the proof She'll take you higher than the Eiffel Tower Show you things you've only heard about She can turn your whole head inside out Before she gets you in her power And all the women seem to know it Though they'll never really show it all the boys think they can win her all Just as sure as there's a moon star Django Reinhardt earlier, who was a great gypsy jazz guitar player. Um, and Dean here happens to be one of the best guitar players I've heard, period, and really has excelled uh, at the uh, gypsy jazz style. And the, um, so we're going to do one to feature Dean, and it's, it's called the Blue Drag in the style of the hot club gypsy jazz music. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> Dean Harrington with the Blue Dragon. All right, um, here's another one of mine. It's uh, got a little story to it. Um, I went with my wife and our young daughter to interview for a job when we went to Madison and we were staying with my aunt and uncle and uh, it got to be about nap time and my aunt said to my wife, well, why don't you go up and comb your hair and I'll put Emily down for a nap and you can go downtown and look around. So then we got out in the car and my wife said, what was wrong with my hair? How come I had to comb my hair? And I thought it was so funny I wrote a song about it. So it's called Put, put the Baby Down. One, two, a one. Well, come on, honey, put the baby down. Comb your hair and let's go downtown. Go go step and baby make the rounds. Come on. something completely different. Um, this is a song that's called Tattoo on My Heart. And it always reminds me of a story. There was a, a singer named Lori Lewis who was driving through the hills in Kentucky, I think she said. And she saw a billboard that said, Tattoos While You Wait. <laughs> it's a little happier tattoo story than mine, but... <laughs> Tattoo on my heart. I wear you like a tattoo on my heart. I pay to have you burned into my skin. You're with me even when we are apart. And haunt me with a ghostly Cheshire grin. I've tried to block you out and run away. And there were times I thought I'd broken free But all it takes is just to hear your name And I know I can't escape your memory There's no hope now in leaving you behind I'm scarred to need to lose all trace of you As your image fades I know I'm gonna find I
bare my heart to everyone I know I'm just a prisoner waiting for reprieve And I cast my fate out to the great unknown There's no hope now I'm leaving it behind I'm scarred to deep to lose all choice in kind of a slow one here. Katie Joe's going to join me on the vocals. And um, I, I, got, I stole this from a French play title. The French play title was Si tu me quittes, est-ce que je peux venir aussi? Which means, if you leave me, can I come with you? But it didn't work so well time-wise, so we changed it just a little bit to If you leave me, would you take me away?
Thank you. Thank you.